Hello, I'm Tinman432, and welcome back to Mega Man Zero Four. In the last part, a lot happens. The entire story began, and uh, yeah, uh, we got this new cyber elf from the Resistance base, and uh, we're gonna go check that out. Talk to Alouette. Talk to Alouette. Oh, Zero, check this elf out. His eyes are still closed because it's a baby. It just came. Oh yeah, Zero, I came up with a name. How's Kral? Kral? And then you can say yes or no. I like to say no. Because, um, I don't remember which one, but one of them has a pretty good name that I like. I don't know. When you only have, like, four options for a name, I think it's pretty obvious what you would name it. Like, I don't have really original thought, but I do have choice. So you, you can ask the people around, and they'll come up with names. This dude comes up with Newville, and I'm like... <laughs> no. I don't like new Newville. I don't know. Uh, this dude has... What is it? Recruit. Yeah, this one. Uh, I always go with this one. <laughs> Recruit. I, I just like it for some reason. No idea. But anyway, you can go back to Alouette and that'll be what the elf's name is for the rest of the game. So it came with a manual and I'll let her explain it. This new elf can copy the abilities of other elves. In fact, it can handle up to three at a time. It's still a baby, though, so you can't use all of them yet. Give it E crystals to help it grow. Here's where it gets a little tricky. The elf has something called a max level. If the three ability levels combined exceed the max, then you lose a point for each level over the max. In other words, as long as you keep the combined levels below the max level, you don't lose any points. There's also probably a way to raise the max level. When you want to help the elf grow, come on back. My voice for Alouette just, just was destroyed. Uh, anyway, here's Recru. Uh, you can level, level up the little elf, get more abilities. That's it's only one cyber elf in this game. It's a little different, but I'm not going to use it because it makes the game like really easy. Anyway, now we get to go to the, the uh, settlement. Hey you, stop. You're a reploid. This isn't the place for you. Get out of here. Wait, we have to tell you something. We told you to get out. You, you did. Wild is going to destroy this place. If you leave now, there's still time. Another reploid war. <laughs> First the Maverick Wars, then the Elf. How long does this world have to suffer while you carry out your petty wars? Good question, mate. Huh? Just leave us alone. This settlement was built by humans, for humans, and we'll protect it by ourselves. But it's dangerous for you to fight while alone. So you'd like humans and reploids to join forces? Don't be a fool. It's you reploids and your wars that got us into this mess. We have no reason to trust- I mean, humans built reploids, but whatever. But, but we're just trying to help protect you. Save your breath. Knees shed, we wouldn't be welcome. But, but, we told them what we know. It's up to them to decide what to do with that. Isn't that right, Niche? That's right. I'm going back to the trailer. The enemy will be making their final move soon. Tisk tisk. Zero. I... Worrying won't stop Oil's army. You can only do your best and hope that's enough. All right then, let's do what we can to protect the nature around Area Zero. I hope the people in the settlement will come to realize that we're not trying to hurt them. I'm sure they will. I found signals for Moyle's army. There are eight units. Ragnarok has begun. Feeding data to the screen now. Choose mission. These are the areas you can go. So here's the mission select screen. It's a little different. I mean, here are all the missions, obviously. You can pick one, you know. You'll notice it has little weather icons. Uh, you can change the weather. It's kind of a neat feature, even though it's kind of dumb. I don't know, that was kind of backwards anyway, whatever. This area used to belong to another resistance group. Now it's being used as a forward base by Wild. I'm detecting plant-like nanomachines. They seem to be thriving on the geothermal energy. As long as the, something, something, don't let them get to just put it to a stop yet. Um, 
I'll explain it more in a sec. This area is overflowing with nanomachines. Nanomachine vines may block the way and they can be cleared out with the buster or saver, or even just plucked with the zero knuckle. Okay, so anyway, the way the weather system works is during your mission select, you can choose to change the weather. So essentially, it's just an easier version of the level. Like, there's a cloudy version of this level, and it makes the nanomachines work slower, because like plants, they use photosynthesis, which uses the sun's energy to convert the carbon dioxide into oxygen and sugar. But whatever. Uh, basically, it's just an easy level. These vines will grow back slowly. Um, this is one of the levels where I use the zero knuckle. You could just pluck away these vines and these enemies here. It's really one of the only uses for it. Ever. Just some extra items. It takes a really long time to get behind these vines with the regular weapon. I believe heat weapons can just burn through it, but... You know, obviously this is the beginning of the game. I don't have any. So, uh, this level also has- uh, I think it's a good start, you know? It has the first sub-tank later in it, which I'll get to in a moment. But for now, we're kind of midway through the stage, and we got a little mini-boss fight right up ahead after this little vertical climb here. So for this one, you're gonna want, yeah, Z-Saber in your buster. That's what I use. Charge him up. Or don't, I guess. But anyway, what you're gonna do, this one just likes to crawl around on the walls here while shooting fires and dropping grenades from its back. So if you hit it enough, it'll change direction. And basically it takes a fully charged saber and then a chaber, saber charge shot to make it turn around. Sometimes I don't make it turn around fast enough and it runs into me, but this strategy is probably the best. When it dies, it just slowly crawls and then it explodes. It's, it's pretty cool. I think. I don't know why things slowly crawling to their death is cool, but it is. We got a blind drop here. What you gotta do is hang on to these little, these little um, stick things. They never work. Um, so I'm, I'm recording this uh, using the, the Virtual Boy emulator, and I'm using an Xbox 360 controller. Because it's a Windows PC, I don't support Xbox in any way, shape, or form. But anyway, uh, here's the first sub-tank. Gotta grab onto this thing. Which, as I was saying, is pretty hard because I'm using the joystick of the Xbox controller. Because the um, directional pads aren't very good on this. <laughs> but also, the joystick has its own limitations as well. It um, doesn't allow me to really face upward to grab onto stuff very well, so I have to only hold up in that direction, because if I do up diagonal, it won't count it. But anyway, here, there's some- there's a giant health thing behind there to fill up my sub-tank, but it won't work unless I'm at full health. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna skip ahead until I have full health, so I can- or not, you know, I'll just take the full health. Some enemy now is probably just gonna drop- <laughs> drop just enough health that I needed. It's gonna be sad. Anyway, here we go. You can see I'm kind of struggling here with this. This part's pretty hard. You gotta climb up. It's only hard with the controller. It's, it's not that hard in the actual game. I'll, you'll see in later level. Anyway, we're here at the boss. Enough complaining about my controller. Here she is. Oh my! I thought a rat wandered in. I was... Uh, you're going through a lot of trouble for the environment. Too bad that trouble will be wasted. You have no hope of stopping Ragnarok. If you're just going to waste energy, give it to me. I'll drain you dry. Okay. Trust me, man. These, are, these probably sound really good with Japanese voice acting, but... I'm not Japanese. <laughs> anyway, uh, this boss likes to heal herself a lot. She'll stick out of the ground like this, and you can use the zero knuckle to pluck her out, and then triple slash her um, when she has a, you know, state of vulnerability. She'll throw these little seed things out, and it's kind of weird because you can't actually attack them until they sprout. It's pretty annoying. 
Her other attack she has is shooting out the honey stuff, and it makes these bees want to kill you. Because I guess bees like honey? That's not how it works, is it? <laughs> but whatever, we almost got her. The, the really annoying thing is that she just keeps healing like that, you see? That would have killed her. But whatever. Ah, I'm shriveling up. I'm a flower cut down before I can blossom. Ah, Lord, why? Told you I'm a great voice actor. Let's see what we got. Doubt I, doubt I can keep that S rank, huh? Um, yeah, that's like an A. Alright, that's fine, you know. And you get the EX skill for that boss. I'm not actually sure if this was related to the weather, but I'm pretty sure if you're playing on normal weather, you get the EX skill. But, can't confirm that. I, it's just my theory. Artificial plants. How ironic that the very technology meant to protect nature is destroying it. Humans are capable of the most good and terrifying things with the power of science as a scientist. It just makes me shiver thinking about it. Yeah, I'm playing this, er, I play, the way I do my YouTube videos, I record me playing them and the narration over them, and sometimes I like to, I accidentally skip over, you know, the lines of dialogue, and it can be pretty annoying sometimes when I do that too often, but whatever. Um, this next mission, um, we got a giant laser beam, solar beam, and it's using energy from the sun, and we gotta stop it because it's gonna blow up area zero. But before we do that, let's, uh, let's have a random advertisement for another YouTube channel. This is, uh, True Steady, he's, is a, he's a friend. Yeah, just go subscribe. I, I don't know why I felt the need to do this, but, you know. I like supporting smaller YouTube channels. He's probably gonna pass me up in subscribers in about two weeks, but we'll see how- Oh yeah, right, right, yeah, yeah, the video, forgot, yeah. Zero, we can't stop the particle beam from outside, and if the trade didn't stop it from the inside, I'm scanning for a way inside. That's okay, I'll just go in through the barrel. That's way too dangerous. It looks like it's charging up. There's no time, commencing mission. That was the worst- that was the worst I've ever done voice acting was. You know, I should stop, you know, insulting my own voice acting. That's not how I get better- yeah, it is, actually. Uh, anyway. EX skill, we got the little ground pound ability. All the EX skills are pretty much the same game to game. This stage is pretty simple, you just gotta go, f um, whichever the direction tells you- the level tells you to go. It's mostly flat, with very small, um, I call them trip spots because I always trip on them in real life, but they're just little ledges. I don't know what to call them. That was a burp. Maybe I uh, shouldn't burp in the middle of my videos. Um, I meant to say platforms, but whatever. Here's a here's a mid boss fight. Sorry about that. Actually, that's pretty informal to burp in a YouTube video. Whatever, whatever. Just forget about it. Uh, so half of these levels have like these elemental dragon type things. They're pretty annoying. They got this attack here. They're gonna try to go, like, grab you and then throw you up in the air. It's pretty annoying, and you gotta hit them a few times. And I have one HP left. It also has a different attack, where it'll... What does this one do? It's... Yeah, it does this. It makes it like a little fire cyclone, and it'll try to suck you in, and it's pretty annoying. Uh, these things take up a lot of damage. I like how I said that just as I killed it, but whatever. They do take up a lot of damage. It took me a long time to kill the first one, um, the first time I played this. But whatever. Here we are. We're inside the barrel now. Uh, we don't want to get shot at. Those lasers do quite a bit of damage. So what you gotta do is hide up in the corners and stuff. Just stay above or below where the laser is going to fire, because you don't want to get, you know, deadified. Uh, I'm just <laughs> decided not to take that risk. Cause I'm probably gonna fall in there. Just wait. Patience is a one-man game. I don't know where that's from, and it doesn't even make sense even to me, but... Let's just say that it made sense. Patience. 
yeah, these barrels are pretty dangerous to go inside of a barrel. I wouldn't personally recommend it, um, recommend it um, because you might get shot from the inside of a thing, gun, ray, thing, shooter. And uh, after that part with the lasers, you go on this mild platforming area, you gotta go up the walls. And this last challenge, the little thing, um, you just gotta climb up the walls fastly so you don't get lasered by little lasers. This level really isn't that challenging, or whatever. But we're already at the boss. Uh, yeah. Ragnarok will wake the humans from their stupidity! It is our grand plan of our group, under Commander Kraft. I am one of the Iron Jaw Warriors. Heat Gendlebum! I will defeat all who stand in our way. I don't know. I I kind of tried on that voice, you know? Um, but whatever. Here's Heat Gendlebum. He's a twiddle. And, uh, his only weakness is from the little gaps in his shell. You know? It kind of feels bad just hitting him through this little hole in his shell here, but... I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do, and yeah, whatever. He also has this attack. His head will go inside of the shell, and it'll shoot fire at you, nice and pleasant. This attack where he spins, and then he drops, and then he's also got a Shoyuken attack. It's totally a Shoyuken. I don't know if he's gonna do it for me. No. It would appear as if he won't. But whatever. Um pretty hard boss fight because he does like to block your attacks quite a bit. I'm just stalling to give myself more time to commentate. Uh, now let's kill him. Yeah! How, how could this be? I failed to destroy my target. I'm sorry I failed you, Commander Craft. Yeah. Another mission success. Um, a. Hey. I'm trying to keep my my you know level up, but it's eventually gonna go down. We we all know that. Back it the resistance. It looks like the boss of that or something something. Oh, well that's that's convenient. So Seal says just because I killed the boss, the uh, power beam no no longer has power. That's that's convenient for the story, isn't it? Anyway. Uh, here's how upgrading the Cyber Elf works. You just gotta hit Evolve Elf. Or you could, you know, view the effects that each level makes. Or you could talk to it. It's pretty... It's just like, me, 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 me. But it's a baby. Because it's a baby and it's, it can't talk. So give it E-Crystals. Talk to it again. It'll start talking like basic words. And then eventually it'll grow older. And uh, give you more abilities, you know. And sometimes it gives you secret recipes for the crafting, which is bad, which I'll show you guys later. But whatever. Here's how you turn all the skills on. You can increase your vitality. You could basically do some of the things that all the other cyber elves from the past could do, um, except you can only have one of them active at a time. So like, if you have something higher than increase for vitality, it won't be increasing your vitality. But I choose not to use it because I'm good at this game somewhat. So yeah, I'm gonna just end this episode here, so yeah. Peace. And sheep. Goodbye.